Good evening. A stepmom is accused in what investigators call one of the most severe cases of child abuse they've seen in a long time. According to investigators, a nine-year-old Lake Charles boy is lucky to be alive. KPLC's Adam Hooper has the story. February 19th, the sheriff's office received a call from a woman concerned that a nine-year-old boy was being abused. Sheriff's deputies say they were shocked when they arrived at this house and found a severely malnourished boy laying on a blood and urine-stained pallet. We're very fortunate that we're not investigating a murder case. Behind me is the house where the alleged abuse took place. Now, according to police, a dog leash, much like this one, was tied from one door to another to barricade the young boy in his room. The 38-pound 9-year-old told police he wasn't allowed to eat and that at some points he got so hungry that he ate his own feces and drank his own urine. 27-year-old Jamie Day of Southern Street in Lake Charles is currently facing 25 counts of cruelty to a juvenile and two counts of second-degree cruelty to a juvenile. Who uses a dog leash or anything for that matter to lock a kid in a room? Most of us tell our kids, go to your room, you're punished. We don't barricade the door and lock them in like a prisoner. According to Sheriff Mancuso, family members of Jamie Day say she's not to blame. They said the boy who was taken from his biological mother a while back already had issues. But I don't know how you can defend this. I don't know how you can defend the evidence that we have. Uh, This child has been abused. According to Sheriff Mancuso, the boy is currently in foster care and is recovering well, while his stepmother sits in jail on a $5.5 million bond. And his father, Murray Day, who recently turned himself in, is also being held on a $2 million bond. At your service in Lake Charles, Adam Hooper, KPLC 7 News. When the boy was taken from his stepmother and father, authorities say he spent two weeks in the hospital recovering.